This week I want to show you guys how to paint wine glasses. I figure it's another good homemade gift if you want to go ahead and do that for Christmas yet. I know it's cutting it close, but it is another option for you. I've done this plenty of times in the past. I've done numerous different colors, but I have two here that I'm going to show you guys that I'm able to show you guys. Um, I have a green one. I just put a scarf in here so you guys can actually see. Um, got green here, and then I also have a pink one and I've made them for different things this one was actually something that I made for a get together with a girlfriend for Valentine's Day one year and the green one was actually for a baby shower and um, I've done it with different colors like I said really nice for if you want to do a get together with a whole bunch of friends and you want people to be able to keep track of which glass is theirs you go to the dollar store you buy the glasses that you want as you can see I usually pick the really big wine glasses this time however I'm making them as a gift for Christmas. So I'm going to use smaller wine glasses and these are quite a bit smaller if you look at the difference they are a lot smaller. Um, so there's going to be less dotting, less paint involved, all of that. But this time around what I've got instead of the colored acrylic paints like I used on the others I actually have glitter paint. And I don't know if you guys can tell but it's silver and gold and I figured for Christmas that would be super pretty. So I'm going to use the same technique that I've used in the past, which is just using a pencil eraser, sticking it in the paint, and then sticking it on the glass. Super easy, kind of fun, and it actually turns out pretty cool when you're all said and done. So let's get started. Okay guys, so here's my glass, and then I do have two separate pencils so that I can use a different one in each paint. And I'm just going to get going on this right away, and I've got, I don't know if you guys can see, but I've got some paint on my plate here, each color, and I'm just going to figure out where I want to go. The nice thing about this is if you don't like the way that it's turned out when you get all done, you can actually wash it off until it's been baked, which I will go over with you guys tomorrow because it actually has to sit overnight. So, I'm just going to hop right in here and get started.
Okay, guys, so this is what we've got. And I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it right now or not, but it actually looks pretty cool. And the nice thing about this is it's really not perfect. And it's probably hard for you guys to tell. Let me try this. If you watch how far they're spaced out, oh, there they got really close. Then they spread out. So they're not perfect, but you can't tell unless you really look at it. I think that that turned out pretty cool, especially for thinking Christmas. Um, obviously, the other three aren't going to match perfect. They're going to be similar. I'm going to make sure that I have the same number of dots, but I might end up doing some of them so that I start with gold instead of silver and then fill silver in in the middle instead of gold in the middle, and I might have two of each. I'm going to see how I feel about it, and I'm going to get the other three done, and then I'll be back to show you guys how they turned out. Okay guys, here's four completed glasses. I hope you can really see how they turned out here. I did end up alternating so that I started with silver on two and started with gold on the other two so that they're a little bit different, but they still all match. I think they turned out pretty cool and I really like the idea of the glitter for Christmas time. I think that the person that I'm going to be gifting this to is really going to enjoy it also. Then I need to let these dry overnight, and then I will be checking in with you guys again tomorrow before I decide to bake them. Good morning, guys. So I want to get these glasses in the oven, and I wanted to show you how this works. What you need to do is you need to take a tray of some sort. I'm just going to use the lid off of a 9x16 pan, and you need to set that in your oven so that it is far enough away from the top of the oven that your glasses can fit on top. Then you're going to set your glasses on there like so. Your oven is not preheated at this point. You are setting everything in here while it is cool. So you set your oven to 350 degrees and you are going to set a timer for 30 minutes. Remember, you put the glasses in when they are when the whole oven is cool. So you put the glasses in and then you preheat your oven to the 350 degrees and immediately set your timer for 30 minutes. When the timer goes off, you're going to open your door on your oven, prop it open, and then leave the glasses inside until they are completely cooled. Once you are done with this process, these glasses are supposed to end up being dishwasher safe. I cannot tell you for sure if they are or not. I have not been gutsy enough to try it. I have hand washed all of the glasses that I have made so far, and everyone that I have gifted them to has done the same. I will check in with you guys again in 30 minutes. See you soon. Guys, my timer just went off, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn my oven off and then prop the... And then I'll check back with you guys once they're cool. See you soon. Okay guys, here are the completed glasses. They turned out pretty cool. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And definitely leave me comments below to let me know what you guys think. I will see you all soon.